it's basically a reboot of, of the of the data layout for Java. So as years have gone on, you know, Java started out as objects and everything was a pointer. And, um, you know, when we have data that needs to follow pointers, in this day and age, memory fetches are actually quite expensive compared to, you know, deep uh, parallel execution. So um, value types sort of promise to flatten our data structures. Uh, so value types are the largest sort of component of, of the Valhalla project. And then on top of that, we look at things like generic specialization, and, and people people who write you know, collections with generics and want to use perhaps a map of, of integers or, or their own primitive types, uh, in the case of value types, would rather use actual data rather than sort of box objects. So we're trying to get rid of all that indirection and, and, and improve performance. And so far, the it's looking pretty good. Like this is actually uh, looking like really major improvements in both performance and mm -hmm. footprint, um, which I think people care about. Um, you know, a lot of people write in a lot of different languages and and don't seem to care about uh, performance so much. But then when they go in production, they find that they need a lot of machines in their cloud, then they can reduce the number of machines by you know features like this, and it, it's quite profound actually. Um, so if I can just continue. Yeah, yeah, go on. ahead. Yeah, yeah, um, please do. I, I think, you know, sort of earlier on in the project, this is a pretty long running project. It's a very large project. It's probably the largest uh, language project we've ever had. Uh, back in some years back, we kind of thought it, it seems like these value type things, which were a large part of the, the project, were, were very sort of unique and special and, and required some sort of special thinking around it. And perhaps, perhaps only library writers or, or framework architects or, or JDK people would care about value types and, and so we could sort of keep them separate and they would be fine and we would just you know insert them quietly but as time's gone on we've figured out how to use value types more as objects to the point that we're the amount of changes you need in your Java code to use value types and generic specialization should be very very small and we're talking about adding a keyword and perhaps Keeping in mind a few simple sem uh, semantics like pass by value, for example. Um, so it looks like it's a feature that hopefully can be used by everyone. Um. at the side of, uh, of uh, JDK right now and it's up to date and we're, we're releasing early access builds based on uh, mainline JDK. We have spun out a few small projects uh, like Nestmates for example has gone into open JDK so anything that we find in the project that can be genuinely useful to, to everyone um, we try to spin those out um, just as every other project mostly to, you know, to, to keep the project focused on what is special about this project and 